Hi, I'm David Brown for MasterMyBeat.com, and this is the Beat Masters Report, February 15th, 2016. Based on the music that has been submitted to our mastering house over the past year, we are hearing a trend towards unfinished productions making their way to our studios. About only 10% of the music is actually radio-ready and listenable from a consumer standpoint. Because of cheap cost of mastering and the home studio becoming ubiquitous, the emphasis on quality production appears to have become a non-issue. When production costs were high and only a select group of people had access to professional recording facilities, quality was highest on the list. One client sent in tracks with sounds from the traffic on the street in the background of his vocals, and it was not intentional. He asked me if we could just take that out. Because of this phenomenon, we review each and every track prior to mixing and mastering and offer advice to the artist or company as what needs to be fixed. It seems that digital is a blessing and a curse. The same way a calculator helped and hurt us. As long as you can do it over and over, why worry about doing it right? You can just inch your way to a great mix, right? Back in the day, we had limits. We used tape, and we had a limited amount of tracks. This put the emphasis on performance, getting it right the first time. The mastering houses and mixing facilities they generally got a better product that was more thought out, rehearsed, planned, and executed. So, are we better off? David Brown, MasterMyBeat.com.